Okay guys, back with a follow up video um, on the Square Infinity Strat and we're going to take a wee look again at the uh, tremolo bridge situation on this guitar. Um, you may remember from the last video I had replaced it with a Wilkinson bridge and unfortunately the Wilkinson bridge, um, the block came out just about flush with the back cavity and it basically meant that the springs were protruding a little bit, uh, approximately 4 mil. Now looking back through everyone's comments, people were asking, um, you know, things like, did the bridge catch on your shirt or your clothing when you were, you know, trying to use it? For me personally, no, they didn't because I'm not really a big tremolo user, to be honest with you. Um, the reason for me really replacing the bridge in the first place was just to get rid of the the stock sort of cheap uh, bridge with the very thin zinc block. Um, my thoughts being that if you upgraded the uh, the bridge, the, the block itself in the bridge, then that might help with sustain or, you know, you get sucked down this rabbit hole of thinking you're going to improve your tone, I suppose. Um, so, a few comments basically on the last video. As I say, the, the springs, no, they weren't an issue for me, but yes, I could see where some people were coming from if you use the tremolo a lot, they may catch in your clothing if there's no back plate on it. Um, the other issue was that was raised with the, the last bridge um, was why don't you mill um, a few millimeters off the block so that it doesn't allow the springs to protrude. protrude. Um, Unfortunately for me, I don't have the facility to do that, um, nor do I know anyone that, that can do that. So I'm really was really looking at things that, that um, I could do myself. So that, again, wasn't an option for me. The last, or, or certainly one that also came up, I should say, was, you know, GFS, Guitar Fetish, do a, a replacement bridge for a Strat. Yes, I've seen it on the website, but unfortunately where I am in the world, um, getting one of those bridges to me, uh, the shipping charges were actually more than what the bridge would cost me itself, the tremolo bridge would cost me. So, you know, it, it kind of puts it completely out of the question when you're maybe paying, you know, sort of £40 pounds shipping for something that's not even worth that. So, what I've done, um, we'll take a wee look at it now. I went ahead and bought a bridge from eBay. Um, it was listed as a Wilkinson bridge um, and it's from a company called Music Lily um, quite a big company on eBay and Amazon uh, Chinese company I believe and I'll just set down the packaging here that came with the bridge okay so obviously we had the bridge itself um, the claws, the springs, the trem bar and I think there was possibly some uh, Allen keys for adjustment of the saddles. <clears throat> so straight away when the package arrived, I was a bit dubious as to whether or not this was a, in fact a Wilkinson bridge. It is branded Wilkinson on it, um, but there's a few things, having had Wilkinson bridges in the past on other guitars, that just didn't seem to stack up for me. So if I lift the camera here and we'll sort of move around, and we'll try and get in. Apologies for the, the bad camera work here. So, I don't know whether or not the camera is going to pick it up, but along the side here, it is branded Wilkinson. Let's see if it, if it will pick it up. Almost. You can almost see it in the camera. So, as I say, was branded Wilkinson. I don't think the etching on the 